Transmission received. Mysterion brings justice. You can't kill that which never dies. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Star Park for an Australia video. And it's been a minute since we actually uploaded. Uh, just been a busy time for me, and also. Yeah, I've tried recording a bunch of videos, several actually. Um, tier list video, for example, which is like 40 minutes long, which I didn't upload. Um, a bunch of pack openings. We had the recent legendary season event, uh, the reset, uh, end of season. And I got two Witchlock tokens. And the week before that, I got a Witchlock token out of my Team Wars pack. And uh, I actually had a pretty good Team Wars video come well, on to upload. But it was, you know, I know we uploaded them on Monday. The latest is Tuesday. But, um, you know, when it gets too late and there's enough the next... No, the next team was there's no point in uploading it so i never did that um this week was uh superheroes well last week and uh you know i got 114 points um again uh it was pretty good but we had like a silver league and it's honestly people don't really have superheroes leveled up so it was kind of easy um and yeah we came second the team was packed sucked but anyway as you saw by the title because it's the main thing of the video is sci-fi is finally getting another legendary which is uh you know, the last theme to get, despite superheroes coming out later than uh, sci-fi. But uh, yeah, it's actually Kenny's dad. So he's called Sizzler Stewart, which is, uh, I mean, I, I said it in my other videos. I'm happy to have more uh, new characters coming to the game. I'm still waiting for like Annie um, and other like goth kids and all that stuff. Like people, new characters, basically, which, uh, you know, it, it makes sense why we got someone new for Legendaries uh, or for the sci-fi. is because sci-fi pretty much has every card. In the game, you know, they can't have two butters, they can't have two Kyles. Um, so, and we can't, well, it seems like they're not doing a, uh, well, they are repeating legendaries, but yeah, so since sci fi had mostly new cards anyway, we had to get someone new, new to the game, which is gonna be Stuart, which uh, maybe it's gonna be a new thing for him. Um, it looks like his ability is to increase his, or to a war cry and then also increase his stuff, so um, I doubt we'll get him in another theme, but maybe we can get like a, uh, I doubt we'll get it, right? But maybe like a, a fantasy one where he uh, he decreases attack and then also increases his own attack when he hits people. Uh, anyway, so let's just start. Um, so on Friday, this is the... It's been on screen for a minute now, but you can see the timetable for this week. Uh, basically a sci-fi uh, week, which if you're using sci-fi, good for you. Um, my my Timmy is almost level 4, so basically level 3. Um, so I will be able to use Stuber at level 3 in this event because uh, he is boosted. So... On Friday, we will have a brand new card, the sci-fi legendary uh, Sizzler Stewart. He'll be a four-cost uh, fighter. Pretty good. Um, his health will start at 420. Nice. Uh, and at base level one, his attack will start at 50, which is, uh, you know, not bad. Um, I'll show a thing in a minute. But uh, he's pretty good abilities. He has a war cry, which is uh, when he spawns in, he will stun everyone on the field for three and a half seconds. Which uh, I don't think increases. I think it's always three and a half seconds. So if you are using level one or two, you're always going to get that stun off. Um, and then every time you hit someone, it will increase his speed. Uh, so, and he says his cap is two times his normal speed, which is ten. So he has to hit ten units. Which, because uh, then he's got a lot of health and, a, and a attack, pretty much he's actually going to be quite good. So I'll put up on screen now what he, um, you know, you can see level one stats. It's uh, four twenty and then fifty. So um, I've actually recreated a card because I can. Um, since they've given out most of uh, the stats online. So on the Discord, you can see on screen here. Um, Buck pretty much just said what he's going to be at all the levels. And his, you know, all the card information. So I pretty much put that into Photoshop and made it myself. And then boom, here it is now. Um, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Uh, give or take a few placements in the words and the, the card. But yeah, it's pretty much going to look exactly like this level 3. Which is uh, pretty good. 1.3 or 1k, uh, 1390 health, and then 124 attack. Now, if we compare this to uh, six element Randy, it's uh, just a little bit less HP and an attack, but because it needs one cost cheaper, that's pretty good. And bear in mind, um, he is going to increase his attack speed by two, so pretty much you can sort of say he's doubling his attack because every time he does a you know, the one attack, he, he's going to get two attacks off when he would normally get one. Um, at base, like, if he's the highest, like, sp uh, speed boost. Um, but yeah, so he's actually going to do quite a lot of damage. And obviously, the more he hits, the faster you're going to get. And the faster he's going to get his, um, his speed up. And remember, it is um, also increasing his uh, his actual speed when he's walking. 
So he's actually going to run to the new kid pretty fast and just pretty much annihilate every assassin or fire. So you kind of have to have a tank against him. Uh, six element Randy already hits pretty hard. So the fact we're going to give another uh, legendary sci-fi fighter is going to be pretty insane. Uh, especially level four. I think he's going to destroy level four. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much him. You can see his stats on screen now. Pretty good. We have to wait and see when he comes out. Probably Thursday. Um, I think they'll do the update. Uh, I'm not in that group, so I'm not going to get him early. You have to wait until I actually play, get him unlocked. Uh, probably on a Saturday. Because it can be mostly sci-fi cards boosted, as you can see right now. It's going to be uh, Stuart, Alien Drone. I don't use Gizmo. I don't use Alien Queen Red. I don't use uh, Force Monkeys, Marine Craig, Shaman Token. Ninja, which I have just gotten, so maybe you can use him. Uh, Hermes Kenny, Stand the Great Fast Pass, and President Garrison. Yeah, pretty annoying cards to use considering I don't really use sci fi, so we're going to try and get a team going. Um, maybe I'll make, make a video on Gizmo, but considering that Alien Queen Red's a guaranteed card to use in the event, I might not end up using him. But uh, yeah, Garrison video I want to upload soon. But yeah, that's pretty much all for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of the new card. I think people are going to like really like him. And I'm um, curious if we're going to get him in any other theme. See what his abilities are. Like, um, how we had the Bradleys in both themes now, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. New card, new legendary cards. Pretty hype. I'll have to finish the event pretty quick. And considering I don't really use the cards, it's going to be a struggle. So, expect a late video from this guy. Um, but, yeah. At least we got the... Let's see what the card looks like pretty early. Considering it's not out yet. Because I, I have to make it myself. But that's pretty much what he's going to like. And, you know, everything is right. His war crying and stats is all true. So he looks pretty beast and I can't really see what he looks like in game and how he plays. So we thank you guys for watching and peace.